interest. It is a self-evident fact that some people seem to attract success, wealth, attainment, recognition, and personal satisfaction, apparently with very little effort. Little effort. Others reach these goals with the greatest difficulty, while still others never seem to reach them at all. What is the difference? It can't be physical, and it's a proved fact that such ability isn't inherited. Obviously then, the power, the capacity, the developed skill to achieve outstanding success must come from within the people themselves. We are controlling transmission.
though there's no fucking cops here. The police are sorely understaffed, so like, they have to pick and choose what they fuck with. If I can hit a wall, if I can like bust out, you know, multiple hand styles on one wall and have a cop drive by me and not even really do anything at all, then that shows me right there that they don't care that much. Back home, if you did that, you'd get pumped. They would like send a fucking fleet on you. Yeah, definitely being in like small time, small town writer, like that's only you know, been into, like, been into bandos, like, bandos that are just, like, nobody in them nine times out of ten. You don't have to worry about anything. The cops don't patrol them back home, because why would they? And they don't hear either for the same reasons. Why would they? But it's a different feel, for sure, because, of course, it's, like, untracked territory, and that is, personally, um, I take more caution uh, when I do things I've never done before. Even if it's graffiti and like breaking into shit, I still, if it's the first time I've gotten into a, a particular place, I'm still gonna be like way cautious about it. But yeah, well, it's just a different feel in the way of more expansive. It has a community of, of people, of homeless people. From what I can tell, they seem to be different each time in each factory or like each abandoned spot. And be surprised if that's how all the other ones are but yeah break getting into that spot was was amazing it's like the biggest expanse of dilapidation i've ever seen to the point where you like question what the fuck is america doing with all of these places like why have they let them fail the way they have i don't know it just it's like totally nonsensical that these places would even exist but i'm so thankful for them. it's dirty and it's nasty but it's like way dirtier and way nastier than anything back home it's legitimately it's a used abandoned you know quote unquote abandoned like heavily used heavily traveled structure that like even though it's completely dead to most people it like it's like fucking blood is still pumping its heart's still pulsating like it lives even though the masses consider it destroyed and unworthy of, of anything and think it's, such, it's unsightly and still has so much characteristic. It's fucking amazing. Especially places like that down here. Back home, they are pretty much just shells of what they once were, but here is, it's amazing.
revolve around science. What are we talking about here?
chance to... promise alive is that promise that's always set this country apart. It's a promise that says each of us has the freedom to make of our own lives what we want.